Right, I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny bit of crimson. See how little that is though. Very small amount of crimson. Just put it out there, get some titanium white, pull that through that. See, you don't matter, even if there's a bit of the blue in there, it's fine. Creates little shadows and things like that. So we're going to highlight these on the right hand side, just here. Now this is the key. You have to be so crucial that you don't. I hold the knife like so me, because that way, I'll just show you. By holding the knife like this, you can't put too much pressure on the canvas. Yeah? So therefore, when you do this, the paint will actually break. See that? The little gaps in between are the important parts. The dark areas, you don't want to kill all them lovely dark bits. Just pull a bit of that through. Touch of pink in there. Nice. And let it roll down the mountain. There. That's beauty. Just a tiny bit there. And that's enough for that side. And then same over here. See that break? And then little holes that are in the paint. That's what makes these look like mountains. It's them, that breaking of the snow. That's the important part of this. There. I'm going to put a little bit on the top part, top edge of this one, just up in there. I love working with the knife, it's very, very satisfying. Again, reload. Cut across regularly and get a ridge, a new ridge, because it's not always easy to work from the same ridge. It actually runs out. Just like when you've got paint on the brush and you run out of paint, so does the knife. Keep that in your mind. You don't want to mix it too much, this white, with the blue underneath. Or you'll become a mud mixer. You'll spoil your, you'll spoil your beautiful mountain. The video that uh, Karen sent me is called Alone in the Woods. So that's going to be the title of this. And it's all dedicated to Dick Prenicke, the guy who actually did it, the guy who was there, surviving in the wilderness. I'd love to do that. To be honest, I was watching it in total and utter jealousy. <laughs> I so want to do something like that. I'd love to be able to do something like that, but we can handle just creating the same sort of scenes that are there. Now, I'm just going to get a bit of the same white, but I'm going to actually put a bit of the shadow colour into it. See there? Not too much, just a bit. So turn it, That's the, it's actually picked up a bit of black as that, so just so you know, if you do pick up a bit of black, just get rid of it. Don't worry about it, just get rid of it, get a bit of the nice blue, and then just pull that blue straight through. There. So it's white, with a touch of the blue. Don't want to overdo it with the shadow, but it wants to be predominantly bluer than the highlighted side that we've just put on there. See that? In there, a bit marbled as well, that's nice. Cut across. Now, just up in here, we'll have some snow up in here. When you go in this way, I like to gently hold it and just gently go up. Like so. Upwards. Right, I'm just going to get it on the small edge of the knife and then just come up in here and I'm just going to pull a bit of that put some on top edge of there I know it's a bit tough for you to see what I'm actually doing what I'm doing is just putting the paint on with the knife and trying to get the sort of shapes I'm after there that's good and then we can just 
very fast. Don't forget these are far, far, far away. Same, come on. I'm going to put a bit of that up in there. Pull that down. That's it. Right stuff. Now, there's a few little valleys and stuff as well. So, pull a bit of dark colour. You see that? Pull that through there. Nice. Gives a bit of something different. Same again here. So put a little tiny bit of dark just in there. Yeah. That's it. Now, this is your bravery test. If you want a clean brush, you have to get a clean brush, two inch, and I'm just going to tap on those angles into that wide, just a little bit, and at the base of here as well. It'll create mist, a nice misty area just underneath the mountain. bit up into there. I only want to see the tops of these. Don't destroy it, just defuse it. Same there. There we go. Right, so they're the distant mountains. Just going to get a soft brush and just gently, gently blend over there. This angle at that side, and then this angle at this side. Same again. Blend that out. I know that a lot of this, these mountains are going to have trees and stuff like that in front, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm having to keep my eye on time, seven minutes.